Hi, I'm Margaret Judson from The Newsroom on HBO. I'm Charlie Wyrock of The Newsroom. Keep it locked on side reel. Keep it locked on side reel. Ruba here for Side Reel. I'm here with the very talented Miss Margaret Judson from HBO's The Newsroom. What's up? Hi. One thing I really want to point out, you have an interesting story as to how you even got to be a part of the cast of The Newsroom. Do listen. I never would have expected to be here. So I've been in LA for a year now, yeah. uh, but I was living in New York before. I have a degree in broadcast journalism. Yeah. Um, so I always expected to kind of take that route, that journalism route. Yeah. I went um, to New York from Chicago, where I'm from, mm -hmm. and worked at NBC News there. Uh, while I was there, Aaron Sorkin came in to research for a pilot he was thinking about writing at the time. He yeah. was going to call it more as the story developed. Um, now it's obviously the newsroom. Yeah. So when he came in, he needed to kind of soak up the entire environment, and he had some questions about how things worked. And because I was a production assistant, and at the time I was a research assistant too, but yeah. because I had that production assistant role, um, I was kind of in charge of him that day. From there, I kind of asked for an audition after I read the pilot. I love it. <laughs> she was like, look, I'm, about to, to be I'm, getting it. I'm going to be brave and go out on a limb and ask him, like, yo, can I get an yeah. audition, please, Mr. And he said Sorkin. no. What? Yeah. He said no. He you said didn't. no. Yeah, which was totally fair. I no, mean. for sure. But I know your face was probably like on the floor. Like, yeah, what do you like, mean no? Oh, okay. What? Like, I I knew I was going out on a limb when yeah. I asked, yeah. so I was prepared for a no. Yeah, he said no. It doesn't work that way. Just because you can be in a real newsroom doesn't mean you can play being in a newsroom on TV. Wow. Um, Is that he, exactly what he says to you? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's when I I really started to appreciate Aaron for the kind of guy he is exactly. because he's not just blowing smoke. Yeah. He's going to be really honest and fair about everything, mm -hmm. and that made me want to work with him even more. He remembered that I asked him and was did, did like the most stand-up move anybody's ever done, and right? was like, you know, I know you wanted an audition. You've helped me so much, so we're going to have auditions at this time. And then still he was like, but don't expect anything. Right, don't think just because I let you know when the auditions were, yeah. you're gonna get it. Yeah, you I were a consultant that. for free, so I wanna help you out, yeah. but there are real actors who are gonna be auditioning for this, so yeah. don't expect anything from it. It'll just That's be like a nice amazing. story to kind of tell your friends and family. Now, consider the fact that you are new to acting and new to the newsroom. Yeah. Um, what are some things that you like really took away from uh, working for season one? It's. Aaron was completely right when he told me that it's not the same to be in a real newsroom as a newsroom on, on TV. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so even though I think that journalism and acting have a lot of overlap kind of in their core values, mm -hmm. like they're really based in truth and finding truth and telling truth and storytelling exactly. kind of generally and understanding people and relationships, um, I think that that the actual day-to-day -day of the two are really different. I was so nervous when oh. I got on set for the first time. I didn't even want to talk to anybody. Really? I was just like, <laughs> let me just focus, please. Yes, I just needed to really <laughs> absorb the whole thing. I had had so many changes. I'd moved from New York. Oh I moved in with my boyfriend. I, um, you know, started a new career. Golly. I was also a consultant at the same time, yeah. which was something I hadn't done before. I knew the subject matter, but. Everything was new, so it was really scary That's in the insane. beginning, to be completely honest. I'm sure. Um, but, you know, I had a straight up and down learning curve, and I just tried to absorb as much as I could, especially with the actors I work with. Well, tell us about your character, Jake Watson. Yeah, Jake is the uh, technical director for Newsnight 2.0. We're in kind of like the nerve center of the show. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy behind the booth pushing all the buttons <laughs> and on my headset the whole time. Um, I work a lot with Mackenzie McHale mm -hmm. um, and Don, which is uh, Tom Sadowski's uh, character. We are, every time you see Jeff on air, we're on air. And the way we shoot it is everything is shot at the same time. So it's kind of like a play. We all hear each other in our headsets. Everything's going on at the same time. That's so dope. Yeah, it's cool. It's hard to get used to, but yeah. it's cool. Um, yeah. And uh, it's just, it, it's very unique in, in the way they shoot it. and. Uh, you got to be prepared. What is one thing that you have taken away from working on the newsroom and with Aaron? Well, I, I think watching people like Emily Mortimer and Jeff Daniels and Sam Waterston, you, you see how uh, professional they are and how on top of it they don't have bad days. 
their machines. You know, they nail take after take after take. Wow. And it's just a level of excellence that you have to strive to get to. And even if I come up a little bit short, I'm a lot better than, you know, some of the other shows I've been on I, I and get it's amazing. It because so. everybody is here. The stakes yeah. are here. So you're just trying to make sure that yeah, you're you're just trying to keep hang up. in there with them. Yeah. But I love that. That's the best like learning tool. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's acting boot camp one oh one. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um sure. and it's just it's really amazing to watch like people like Jane Fonda come in and, and just kill it. That's so dope. Yeah, yeah. Now for season two, what would you like to see take place with your character Dick Watson? Spin off. Spin no, off. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think uh, as we get further and further in the episodes, you'll start to see a little more insight into Jake and, uh, you know, his background. I think he gave little glimpses in certain episodes, um, one in particular where I, I, I stood up when we got Bin Laden in, in one of the episodes mm -hmm. and, and put on a FDNY hat. I think there's some backstory there that this guy has some issues and um, uh -oh. I, would love I, to I think that. They're, I, they're not like bad issues but they're, Every, you know, everyone you know, has issues Come on now. Stuff. so you know what I noticed about the show is that they cover topics a year back yeah it's actual news events it's usually between 10 and 12 months uh, in hindsight yeah. and uh, it's it's interesting to see how it's received because we are a fictional organization covering real events yeah. in a fictional way. We we have, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. We always have that, you know, benefit of having a Aaron's view a year later yeah. on what we're doing. And um, I think some of the people that have reviewed the show have a hard time Grassing seeing that. that we're not, you know, necessarily critiquing the way it was. Uh, reported we're trying to uh, strive to inform the public in a way that uh, has nothing to do with ratings it has to do with uh, reporting the news gotcha. rather than just capturing a, a, a demographic Charlie Boomer. great time great thank time. you so much and make sure you guys tune in to season two of the newsroom coming very soon <laughs> <laughs>